how's it going everybody? Sarasota Tim. I should have videoed before I came down the ramp uh, to show you I-95 southbound here. It's a parking lot. I'm only going to right here though. <laughs> so no big deal. But all these people going to them prison jobs on this Tuesday morning and it's already 830. And they're still not there yet. I guess a lot of people don't start till 8, 8.30, 9, then the retail don't start till 10. So you got all this traffic. Uh, then at 3 o'clock, they get off 3.30, 4, and 5. People get off at 6. You get all that traffic. Man, you just stay away from it is all I can do. Uh, those hours of the day, which is pretty much all day, <laughs> except for a couple of hours. That's why I want to move somewhere where um, where where <laughs> it's not so many people 25 million we've got here and they're all in South Florida I think they're all in Palm Beach County too <laughs> hey everybody can't be wrong right they love it I'll tell you right now I wouldn't want to be anywhere else to be honest with you because the weather has been stellar we have had unbelievable, it's been cooler here than it was in Jacksonville. Yesterday it was 76 and it was 80 in Jacksonville. I checked my phone. I couldn't believe how cool it was last night when we sat at the Tiki Bar for dinner. Oh, I'm enjoying that free coffee from Wawa. That Cuban dark roast with the Irish cream, sugar. Yeah, it's good. So I'm going for a boat ride this morning. Uh, I'm going back over to John and Carol's house. Uh, they're having me back over. He's got him a nice boat on a boat lift in the backyard. And uh, we're gonna go out for a little ride. We're not gonna do any fishing. We're just gonna ride around and enjoy the uh, riding of a boat and then uh, come back and we're gonna have lunch. So another wonderful day of being retired and just enjoying myself and spending time with good people uh, that just love the heck out of me, like Ted and Jolene. I got so many subscribers out there that have come to visit me and I've met that <clears throat> were just, all of them, they're kind of the same in one way. They're just wonderful people. Wonderful, wonderful people. It's a pleasure to know them all. And, uh, and then we're on, on the regarding the deck, everybody, um, without giving too much personal information, uh, Ted, you know, had some health issues going on a few weeks ago and he went to the doctor and I don't know, they might have over prescribed him or something on his blood pressure. He was getting, he wasn't feeling good and uh, he rested and then we went back at it the next day and a little later and the same kind of episode happened and so we put everything on hold and it was uh, something that we needed to get back and consult with the doctor again about what they're doing and what what course of action they're taking to uh, get him back uh, as good as he can be and so he's doing uh, he's at a doctor's visit this morning and that's why I'm taking the day uh, we took off yesterday as well and that's why the whole project has been on hold. Uh, we were right there, um, one big heavy board away where they really need my strength uh, to help Jolene and I uh, to place this big two by 10. And then it was gonna be basically just cutting the, uh, the boards that you actually step on and you know putting them down, which would go very quickly from what I understand. <clears throat> so we're just trying to get it level and get our uh, stringers or beams or tracks or whatever those are called that the boards you know screw down to and uh then we'll get it going but <clears throat> right now we're on game delay but we'll get it and i'm glad that you know i am here i i, I didn't know about the other things that are happening with him that that might happen so i've been helping um you know what i could do and of course he, he uh, I'm telling you, like I said in the video the other day, when something like this happens to you or your significant other, uh, your spouse, 
and you're all alone in this world and you need someone to literally nurse you and care for you, what's, what's that worth? That's worth everything in the world. And so uh, Miss Jolene is really, um, really earning her keep and doing what, uh, what any man should be lucky to have uh, in case uh, something like this happens. So he's in good hands, uh, but if he was by himself, you know, even though I would do what I could, she's um, she's definitely doing what what only uh, the nurturing of a of a woman can do. And so, I realize the value of that. And it doesn't matter how old you are; you could be a younger person and need help. If you don't have family or friends or somebody, you know, that really cares to come and nurse you. It's important to have your wife or your husband or your significant other uh, through sickness and through health uh, to help you out. And so, you know, if you have somebody in your life, think about that right now, how much, how much you value them because they're there for you through thick and thin, for better or for worse. And that is when they really, um, they, they count all the time, but that's really when you really appreciate, you know, having someone in your life. I think I tried to say that the best I could. <laughs> I know that um, I wouldn't want to be in Ted's shoes or anyone's shoes right now that has a, uh, a serious health issue or calling for nursing uh, for the simple reason. Well, I mean, right where I'm at, I do have help, uh, but most of the time I wouldn't. You know, out there on the road and wherever, uh, you know, I would just be at the mercy of an emergency room or something like that. So it really is important to have somebody in your life. Uh, two heads are better than one, a collaboration. It's just a matter of finding the right person that enjoys life and enjoys the same things, has the same beliefs. You got to be on the same page with most things. You really do, uh, I think. Uh, to be able to make it work So This car is going to turn here and this car is coming out here and I'm going to go around over here Watch out young lady And I'm going to grab a shower and do a little workout. Look at that shiny red car Nice What is that? That's a Lexus But, um, folks, life is short. Life is precious. And you can forget campers, new trucks. Check out that Tacoma over there, that orange one. Is that hers? You can forget, you know, Lexuses, that one right back there. When you don't have health and you're laying horizontal, it doesn't matter how much money or what kind of car or kind of home or what kind of anything, you gotta be able to be, you know, enjoying your life and have health. And so let that be, let that be a, I'm sure most of you already know that, but we take it for granted sometimes and, ah, oh, please don't folks, please, uh, Please respect the one you're with, love the one you're with, take care of them. They might need to take care of you one day. You don't always get free coffee. It's not always a great day. Sometimes things can happen. Well, she got her a little Camry over there. Okay, she got her a, a baby Lexus. That sure is a pretty Tacoma though. I wonder if I had to pull my new camera. <laughs> what is this, a squirrel in the back of this truck? Check it out. It's just squirrel. Look at him. He's reading the sign. Well, anyway, folks, let me go in here. I'm, rush, I'm racing against time uh, to get to John and Carol's, and um, we're going to get out there today and crush it.